Welcome everybody, Nasty Bones here, and today's video is on some bugs I have discovered in GTA 5 and have not been able to figure out how to fix. And I'm hoping to address this problem to Rockstar and everybody because I do believe it is a growing issue with this game. Now, most of you may know me from my videos Fallout 4, but I have been playing this game since it came out a couple of years ago. I do like this game. It is an awesome game. I do play it frequently. And hopefully we can get a few more videos out on some of the cool stuff that we do here on GTA. Well, anyways, I've loaded into a fairly active lobby. So we're going to run down the road here and try and find a spot where we can actually make this... Uh, video without being interrupted by uh, people or idiot drivers or whatever. Now, before we get started, I would like to take a second and thank Rockstar. Thank you, Rockstar. This is an immensely fun game. Uh, it, it has great longevity play. Uh, you, I've pl like I said, I've played it a couple of years. I love this game. The second thing I'd like to thank you for is continuously bringing us DLCs free of charge. Oh man, I wish more cars would stand on their nose like that. Okay, I wish more game manufacturers would follow your footsteps. I do feel these days that most uh, game makers, it's all about the money and how fast they can get them out. And uh, with my epic entrance there, I do believe we're clear enough to go ahead and start this this uh, issue that we have here. Now, uh, I have researched this quite in depth. Uh, at first, I didn't really find out much about it other than people were stuck with free aim instead of the auto lock-on, and they fixed it by going to story mode and rechanging the setting there. Because to change your aim setting, that is the only place that you can do it, is in story mode. Now there are a couple of other places that you can change firing modes, but they are for like when you're in vehicles, or shooting from a vehicle, passenger from a vehicle, uh, so on. Now, uh, I try to go ahead and load into... Uh, story mode here, but I have agged the cops, so of course I can't until I get rid of them. But let's take a look at the settings real quick. And this is to show you that I am set on the correct settings right now. So go over to settings, uh, push A, I do play on the Xbox One, uh, go to your controls, and there you go. You can see that my targeting mode is set on assisted aim full. It is not set on free aim. Okay, well, like I said, since we've made the cops mad, let's get them lost real quick. Now, there is another issue that I feel is related to this. And here in a bit, we'll take a look at it. But it has to do with the same trigger. So because you want to do a burnout you use your left trigger your right trigger to do a burnout and auto lock is the left trigger I thought it might be a setting in my controls it was not I used different controllers still had the same issue uh, actually there is no setting to set your controller up other than to change the whole key configuration you know like green thumb standard etc so anyways that did not help me out any at all either now I've loaded into story mode here I am with Michael and uh, apparently his kid wants to sell a bunch of weed and it makes him cool which is cool by me but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at online or uh, uh, um, settings real quick and as you can see I am on assisted aim full that mode should allow you to auto lock onto any character in the game. Now there is a setting in your menu which will allow you to target enemies. Uh, I'm not for sure the, uh, all of the options there without going and looking, but it's like target enemies, target uh, friends, target 
uh, your dog, target everybody. Mine is set on target everyone. So that's not going to really be an issue with what we're trying to figure out here. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and change the setting. And I change it to assisted aim partial. And I should be able to, to lock on to the walking public, but not the driving public. And I don't know what all actually you can't aim on in assisted aim partial. But I do know that you can't aim on to drivers at that point. And we're just going to kind of take a look at the different settings. You can see free aim. You can see assisted free aim full. Uh, you know, there's just a few settings there. Nothing, uh, not too many. And I've chose them all and reloaded back into online. And it still has not helped it any at all. So we're going to go ahead and check and make sure I'm on assisted aim full. And I'll just change it a little bit to make sure we change back to it. And when I back out, it saves, and we'll reload online. And you can reload online or story mode, you know, by using the D-pad. Now, this did take a couple of minutes to load back into online, so I just went ahead and clipped that out so we didn't have to look at each other for that amount of time. And I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick uh, that even though I have changed it in story mode and loaded back into online that it still does not work. Now I have played this game long enough that I do well with free aim but that's not really the point. The point is, is sometimes when you're in you know heist or in a, uh, uh, a game of some type of your choosing you know the auto aim really does come in handy. It does help and it is not as an as a, in <laughs> annoying as free aim. And uh, now, as we're getting over here to sh see that it's still not working, I'd like to go ahead and start talking about the second issue. And I do once again believe it's related to this problem, and that is doing or completing a burnout. Uh, before you used to be able to hold the left trigger, like I said, which is your brake, your right trigger, which is your throttle, and your car would do a nice, cool little burnout. And by turning your tires right or left, you could make the rear of your car go right or left as well. And so you could do little donuts and stuff. And as a matter of fact, a couple of friends and I got together one time, bored, and we lined up down at the airport and we're doing some synchronized brodies and burnouts and actually it was pretty fun and cool but I no longer can do that now I do believe once again that it is related to this issue of the auto lock-on uh, it could be something in the game where that part of the keying system is not registering I don't know um, I did try multiple com uh, controllers to make sure, like I said, that it wasn't a controller setting issue. And, uh, of course, I'm using my Elite controller for this, which has many settings, but there's really nothing in there other than to change up your key configuration. And uh, as we enjoy some of my expert driving, Mario Andretti, he would be jealous... Uh, we're going to go ahead and start looking at what I'm talking about by the burnout. And if you watch my brake lights, that just only indicates to you that I am using the left trigger, which is the brake or reverse. Uh, if you hold left trigger down only and you're stopped, you will go backwards. But if you're pulling the right trigger and then and moving forward and then pull the left trigger, it is your brake until you come to a complete stop and then your tires will just sit there and smoke. Uh, I did try using the right bumper, which is the e-brake, but all that does is just keep your tires from spinning and revs your motor until you let off, and then you take off. Now, I'm going to try and show you here, maybe in a second, that even holding them down, the car still moves forward. It will not, it just will not do a burnout. And you can see I'm even backing up a little bit, then hitting the trigger. And as you can see, my brake lights are on, and I'm still moving forward. 
uh, I'm accelerating but not at the normal pace I would be if I had the brakes off but it is still making me go forward I cannot do the burnout okay so now to show you why I do believe it's still a game bug I've invited my friend Ducky over hey Ducky what's up buddy thanks for coming and helping me out on my video I appreciate it buddy now Ducky is gonna drive my car and I'm the passenger and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a setting that allows you to aim and fire or aim then fire now what that means is when you pull the left bumper your character your tune will break out a window if you haven't rolled it down and aim his gun out the window to shoot and if it's on fire it will automatically start shooting the second that the reticle shows up the reticle the reticle the oracle whatever uh, the f aim and fire the reticle will show up but the gun will not fire till you push and hold down the right bumper then your weapon will fire now as you can see being a dr uh, passenger my gun is locking on just fine because I'm using the left bumper not the left trigger and this works in everything I can target the citizens walking I can target the public's driving uh, it works with everything so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and piss off the publics and get some cops on us okay here they are and they're upset we got three stars so now what I'm doing is I'm showing you that my auto lock is working just fine as passenger from the vehicle and I happen to be mowing the uh, popos down at a pretty good accelerated rate there. So now we're going to pull up to this next section where there's a couple of more cops that I haven't killed. And I'm going to go ahead and get out. And I'm going to get out so I can show you that even though the auto lock was working fine as a passenger, it is no still no longer working while I'm uh, wandering around on my feet. Now, I'm not really trying to kill them. I'm just trying to aim away and show you that it won't lock on to them. If you're watching this video, I hope it's not because you're having the same issue. But if anybody has any idea how to fix this, please leave me a comment so I can share it with the world. Let's let Rockstar know how much we love this game and that we would appreciate these issues being addressed and looked at. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching my video. And as always, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.